It's another day. Virginia, let's do it again. Pretty much where I left y'all yesterday. I uh, drove around the rest of the day, did a lot of scouting, hit a bunch of different areas. Ended up coming back to the creek where I had listened in the morning. Not heard any turkeys, the same one that I hunted last year. And there, there were a bunch of turkeys. I came back here because I just thought it was so fishy. Just so fishy that I didn't hear any gobbles. So, I, I should have been the first thing that I did yesterday. It would have saved me a lot of time. A lot of driving around. Came back. Scouted up and down the creek. And just saw a mess of scratching signs. So, I don't know if they just didn't gobble. Because it was cold. It's a little bit warmer today, but it's still cold. Uh, we're going to have a couple hours of no wind. But it's going to pick up around 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't hear gobble yesterday maybe I just was in a bad spot from where they were roosted couldn't hear them I don't really know but back in the same creek feel a lot better just because I know how to hunt this area tried to learn a bunch of different areas yesterday found good sign at a bunch of different areas yesterday so we got plan B's but this is where I want to focus just because I know it and I know that I can kill a turkey if he starts gobbling around here so same place this whole time. I'd like to see which way they start moving. Then maybe just try to tuck into the trees here and call. Oh, there's another turkey coming to the field. There's two more hands walking at him. He's been full strut the whole time. We just got him full strut. I don't really have a play on them. Can't get close. Really just trying to watch him, see which way he's going. I don't think I can call him away from the hens. Especially since two more just popped out in the field with him. Basically just want to try to cut them off whichever way they're moving, but I'm gonna back up in the trees and probably get somewhere to where I can just stand and watch them. But also if he starts working my way, I can get a call. Be in a good setup. This tree line that I'm in kind of wraps around and there's like a little point. A little peninsula sticks out into the corner of the field over there. And that's kind of where those those uh last three hens came out from that's where I want to get they're either going to keep moving that way or they're going to come back in the way that they came from I can get to the peninsula pretty easy and if they do come back in where they came out from then I'd be in a real good position to shoot that tom but oh it's cold bro and right now he's just out there Strutting around, not moving, I'm 
imagine I'm going to be watching them for a long time, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get in position. The sun's at my back in his eyes, so making a move over there should be pretty easy. this wood line pretty slow just keeping eyes on them the whole time they started to work away from me there's a little dip in the field back there there's also a little island of trees I think I, I get to that island of trees and if they're if they're working around it then I can work around the other side and cut them off get to the point on the island of trees and maybe maybe they'll walk right past me we'll see but they can't see me right now it's my time to move
sit for a while, maybe maybe they're just down in a low spot or they'll work this way, I don't know. But probably just just sit for maybe an hour. Hopefully he gobbles at some point, lets me know where he is, or they just come up and up out of the low spot and come walk straight down this road. That would be nice for me. As Tom has eluded me thus far, I'm excited to play the field game with him. The difference between this and what I was dealing with earlier in the season, struggling in Virginia with those field turkeys, is that those turkeys were on private fields. This is all public ground. Just some really cool habitat, really diverse. Pine farms, you got mature pines, you got 30 foot pines, you got some places there's no undergrowth, some places there's fields, some places it's thicker than hell. There's tons of diversity running through here. And seeing that Tom out in the field today and crawling, trying to get in position for him if he comes walking my way. I don't know. I don't usually play the field game with turkeys, but this, this one feels right. I want to get to know this turkey. I want to hang with him all day. I want to hang with him till he flies up the roost if I have to. Get right underneath him and kill him tomorrow. I want to hunt him the next couple days. Which, it may work out because it's supposed to be windy and it's supposed to be starting to get rainy towards the end of the week. So, trying to call one in or get one to gobble may be difficult for these next couple days. And I think it's going to be really fun to play this field game because it's, like, it's not like big and open where you can't get close to them. There's, there's a lot of corners that the old boy will turn. And I'm hoping I can just get out in front of him one time, turn the corner, and it'd be a done deal right there. I mean, there's one, one of three things, one of four things that's going to happen. One, get him fired up, call him in. Two, call one of his hens in. Hen brings him over and I kill him that way. Three, I'm going to get out in front of him. He's going to turn the corner and I'm going to kill him. Or four, he's going to elude me this whole damn trip. I am excited to play cat and mouse with this turkey. He's going to make a mistake at some point. I just hope I'm in the right position when he does. But I think we're going to kill this one. Maybe today. Maybe today. I'm just going to try to hang with him. I'm just going to try to hang with him. Get to know him. Know what he wants. Know where he wants to be. And then at some point I'm going to be there and I'm going to kill him. Gets me fired up. Ask me in a couple days how I feel about this turkey, but right now I'm excited to play with him. I'm going to try to carefully make a move over near that tree line at least I think they just walked right back into that tree line or they're camping out at the corner of that field over there I need to look at the map and see where the closest water is because I figure there's a good chance they might be a, be where that is but I want to very carefully Try to just move a couple hundred yards, get in a different position. Maybe try and lay eyes on them again. If they're in the timber, you might lose those hens at some point and gobble. I need to be close enough to those pines over there to hear him if he does that. So I'm gonna kill this turkey. I'm having fun right now. Ask me in a couple days, but for right now I'm having fun. Been walking around running and gunning really just trying to learn as many spots as I can and like know know what's what and what type of habitats here what type of habitats here what I can get to what I can't I just made a loop 
back to where I was when I lost them. So when I saw them, they went over that hill. I made that big move to get to this, to try and cut them off over here. And I, I lost them there, but I just spotted them out. He's in this tall grass over here. I can just see his head popping up every now and then. I don't know if he's got anything with him, but I'm probably gonna try to call and see, see how he responds to it. So I just saw his four hands that met up with him. It's looked like the same, same group all running together. It looked like they're walking on that same road in the middle of the field. So I'm gonna try to drop back. I'm gonna drop back and see if I can cut them off on that road. I can't get out to this island anymore. If it was just the Tom, could have gotten out to this island, just crawled through the tall grass and killed him, pretty sure, but. I'm gonna try to cut him off.
my move to cut this gobbler off. He was in the pack, or he was he was in front leading the pack by a good ways. The hands were way right back there. And I was I got caught in the middle of the road. He actually saw me for a little bit, I think. But he I got him to calm down. I gave him a little I gave him a little one of those and he seemed a little confused at what it was, but he didn't spook off. Um, these hens are maybe only 100 yards from me. If they start walking down the road this way, then that'll be great for me. Because he's probably going to do the exact same thing. Got good cover right here. If they don't do that, then it could be a horrible thing trying to get to them now. The hens are probably within 100 yards. He's still like 150, 200. But he's looking this direction like he's definitely going to close the distance. I just hope that they walk this road and they don't come and they don't walk into this stuff that I'm walking in. Because then I don't know if I can get out in front of him. And then he's not hit. He's not hitting the call. I just need him to walk this road right here. And he's dead. I tried to get in front of those turkeys, but they made it into the tree line before I could get out in front of them. I'm, uh, it's getting late. I'm up here on a high spot, kind of cutting them off a little bit for, from where they went into the woods. If they come and roost in this patch of trees that I'm sitting in, I'll just, and they gobble on the roost, then I'll definitely hear them gobble. I should be able to hear them gobble across the way too if they roost in that patch of woods, but hopefully I can get them roosted. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm figuring them out. I feel like I'm figuring them out. He's gonna make a mistake at some point. If we can get the wind to die off at all this week. I think we'll probably kill one. 